okay what's going on guys so let's see he's in a week yeah and i'm filming on my mum's phone and yeah um and it's basically today it was the first day of year six and then it was quite good and what we did was first we did maths and then we did maths yeah, we did maths and we stopped for um, assembly and then we marked some of our work and then we did break and then after that we did some English and then we did lunch and then after that we did coastlines um, and then we just read a bit of our school books and our maths books are red and we write on lines instead of squares now basically what we do for our homework and then we are english books and, and blue as they always are our topic books are pink and we've got other trays as well as our normal trays and um, Mum, where did you put my reading book? Okay. One second, guys, and I'll get to you. I like this sort of stuff. Can you do this? Not this padding. Along here, the pig bar. It doesn't sound like that long one. So, this is my book that I'm reading, Jill Murphy, Deer Hound, and I'm up to chapter 8, page 39, and the blurb is, what on earth are we going to do with him our sunset? Murph is a young deer hound, he loves to see his boy Charlie and Cheese, and he's very good at digging holes and not much else, but poor Ralphie has lost, he's never been away from home before and he's scared of thunderstorms and been hungry and never seeing Charlie again. Meanwhile, Charlie doesn't know what to do, but one thing is for sure, he'll never stop looking for his deer hound. Can Alfie ever find his way back to Charlie and his great big squashy bean bag in the kitchen? Covering his rations for Lord. If you loved Alfie, you will you must meet Mildred. Um and it's a five point one. And we also have these, these reading records. So you basically have to write the title and write what the book's about and then we have to do AR quizzes. So, and then in the middle, today what we did, oh we also did spelling today, I think I said that. We had to write, we had to test with a partner, we had to test them. So say, you have to say to a partner, accommodate and have to write it down and then company, cause and aggressive, um, achieve and amateur. Or category, cemetery, committee, communicate, committee community competition or com competition con science conscience controversy and con and and then they have to write it down you have to mark them with a pink pen and and the bottom is tricky words or new words that i've learned um, and then there is top tips for the reader which is here and then we got homophones and commonly confused words then on the other side it's punctuation and then there's the building blocks of sentences the building blocks of sentences um, and then we got Ideas for sentence openers, national circling word list for three and four, but this one isn't for us. These words are accidentally, actually, address, answer, appear, arrive, believe, and all that. They're really easy, but then this is... 
This is our one. So, that's that. Um, and comment down below what year you're going into. Um, and if you've already started, comment down below because some people do go back on Thursday. We went back today, which is Wednesday. It was a bit lucky. Um, I just went to see Senders, which is really good. Yeah, it was really good. I also need to put this on charge after I've uploaded this video that you're filming now on because it couldn't record on here. I don't have enough storage. But my mum does because that's basically a new phone. And I can take out my earrings. It's good. Boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, ah, boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka. So remember what I said to comment down below. If you didn't hear that, just go, just, just say, just, just rewind the video. It's here, but you can still see it, but not as bad. So it's okay, it says, I hope you can until we die, and I hope you stay with friends and party. Sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to end the video now, guys. So remember what I said, and I think I've already forgot mine already, what I was going to say. So, peace out, and I'll see you tomorrow. And I've got my football match for tomorrow. So, and my 11 plus. So, goodbye.